What's going on, real assist Trey? And it's Tasha. Man to the real, where we always keep it real. My Hero Academia, season six, episode one twenty-two. Um, Katsuki Bakugo rising. So yeah, uh, last time we left off, fucking Aizawa got shot with the bullet. Grand Torino got fucked up because I was stressed as hell. Um, Deku was actually fighting Shigaraki. But now this motherfucker can't use the K again along with a whole bunch of other shit. So, I don't know. Like, not only is his strength a problem, now he can use his quirks again too. Which we don't even know all that he has. So, full reactions on Patreon. Thanks. Oh. I'm sorry. Whoa, shit! Oh, that motherfucker is the man! Oh, he... Going straight for him. I'm sorry. Oh my God, did he just scratch his face like that? So he was following him. That wasn't great for him. I told you. Oh, Deku light this bitch up like I'm, I'm tired. I'm not playing. He done set up there and injured my boy. Like he almost clawed his eyes out. And he done fucking had to cut his leg off. This some bullshit. Oh, he I forgot he changed and fucked them up last episode. Bruh. What the kids? Damn! He studied listed cities. Bruh. Where he sending them? Uh. Okay, but where my boy at though? They is on the ground. Right I was there. about to fucking say, bitch, y'all got me, y'all got me fucked up. Oh, that's what he wanted. Like he need to cool down. He's overheating. That's why he wanted. That's why I mean. That's what make Todoroki perfect to use his fire because he can automatically cool himself down. That cool. Yep, this is a different kind of crime. I can't. This shit right here is stressful. <gasps> what was that? What the fuck just happened to his body? What happened? He won't let him touch it. Deku is so angry. Look at him using all these whips, bitch. Wait, he got everybody? The seven. Flow. Not them, um. He's still alive, thank God, please. Oh, Oh, he shit. using, he using her quirk. Oh, shit. See, he, he using, is the hey. one with the whip was before her? I, I don't I think he using five, six, and seven. His mm. shit and hers and the dude with the whip. <gasps> Is he gonna be able to start using everybody's like back to back? We gonna see the fourth users next. That motherfucker said I send you to heaven mm. if you like the sky so much. Oh my god, this is so dangerous to fight this motherfucker. Oh shit. They ain't have to do my boy eraser like that though. He like fucked his eyes up and he made him cut his leg off before he had already started using it. Mm. Ooh, this is stressful. Not him on the water bottle, please. I see what's happening. Mm. 
Wait. Mm. Mm. Deku the seventh user? What's wrong? Deku the seventh user, right? Uh, I, I, I don't know, man. Because it showed the seventh up there. That's what I was like. I thought it was the technique he was using of the seventh user. Maybe so, man. I can't remember how many people it was in his vision. But. Shit. Oh, I forgot his arms. Oh, my goodness. And he done already fucked up another one. Deku, please. He is fucking his arms up. God damn. damn. Deku, please. He is like, you gonna still have to fight him? You fucking your arms up? Bro, what the fuck? What he finna do? Not him moving his hand out the way like that? God! You know, they don't fucking matter. They doing more than y'all right now. I know Rock Lock, but like... My boy Aizawa is like down for the count, please. This shit is so wild. Mm -mm. He carrying Endeavor up to like, oh my God. Mm. Damn. No shit. I need to figure out how many users there are. Ooh, look at him! <laughs> he is you can fucked do up. It. He threw this motherfucker like police. Ooh, for Nelson. Endeavor. Oh, yeah. Like when he used that holding on to him like that, is he hurt too? Cause like I wonder, does his fire hurt him too? Hell no, sir. Excuse me. What the fuck was that? Ah! Look at him. Ah! Bakugo, do not jump in the way. Y'all, please. He jumping in the way to fucking save him just like he did. The body just He moved. fucking got hit with this shit. This is it. This is gonna be it. That's it right there. He jumped in the way for Dick. <laughs> so, like I was saying, this boy about to snap out. It, I said... Somebody was gonna get hurt and he was gonna snap out. This boy about to go rogue. I'm gonna have He's to He's a rogue. I told you. But like they got it. My, my thing is like they all going like above their limits right now. He just fucked up both his arms and then he using his legs to fight in the air in case of decay. So it's like you can't really use your legs to fight because you're in the air. So at this point, what else you gonna do? We just seen his arms flailing. Like, yeah, he still can use black whip because it's coming out of him. It's not necessarily like he using his arm and then he use a float. So what's her name? Is it is her name Nana? Shimmer? What's... I don't know how to pronounce her name. I think her name is Nana or whatever. That was, okay, so she's the one that's the seven. Because at first I was thinking wrong. Okay, she's the seven, and then All Might is the eight. Deku is the ninth user. Mm -hmm. But when Bakugo was talking earlier, did he mention five, six, and seven? Mm -hmm. So five is the one they don't know exactly what happened to him, or is it four? I think four. 
So that must be one of the ones who was blurred out to us. That was uh two and three that was blurred out. Okay. But like I see, it's about to go down so, because uh you 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 fucked up the homie. You fucked up the homie. Now I'm about, I'm about to go in full rage mode. Fuck these arms. Fuck this. Fuck these legs. Fuck this body. I'm wondering I'm gonna kill if, you. if Deku has a perk that he just didn't know how to access, though. Like, are we going to do that or are we just going to literally leave him like he had no quirks? So he's using all my quirk for eight. Seven, he's using float. And then I'm guessing six is the whip. I forgot which one six was. Maybe it was. Because she's seven, so that's float. Mm -hmm. He just started using it. And then, like, in this episode, if y'all notice, like, all my trying to hide that he has multiple quirks so nobody figures out that, like... He can do the same shit, basically, that all for one can do, kind of. So, that's what Bakugo was saying. Like, you can't hide this for long. And now you can't hide it no more because he using all this shit to fight. Because they like, is this float? Like, when he was calling, when he was holding them up, did somebody say, like, is this float? Somebody, like, kind of noticed that he was using It that. was Greg Torino. Like, this oh, okay. is what's-the-name uh, quirk. Yeah, quirk. so he's using hers, Black Whip, and um, All Might power but i still sometimes feel like deku may have a quirk like i don't know um i don't know i don't know if he just looks different because remember with the shit with Ari and overhaul how he looked different when she was on him mm -hmm. he didn't glow like all might and all that like i just don't know that it's a effect because now he can like use all them or whatever but i wonder what makes him special that like all this shit is working for him now because everybody has had all the users has had this but y'all never been able to what if his quirk is named control I'm telling you, like he can have control over all this shit. I'm just, I just be coming up with shit, y'all. I'm just saying, like he ain't got because he never but learned to use it. He's the first one to be able to use all this because even the first one, he only had the stockpile and quirk and was able to. I mean, he um all one for all for one because I've had to <laughs> say this gave him the stockpile and quirk. Then he had the quirk to pass it on. So he never got to use a lot of them because he was the one who passed it on initially. And then nobody else has used no other quirks till Deku. So this is like a first for all of them. Full control. I want to know what happened to the fourth user then since he was like, it's almost like Bakugo feels like he knows what happened. But All Might doesn't want to say until he had like concrete proof. Of what happened. So I'm wondering like what happened to that person. And what makes them special that is like weird like that. Because mm. I would just think. All for one was trying to kill. Like I would think. All for one killed all of them. But I'm sure they might have died other ways too. But. I don't know. Like I just wonder if they gonna ever touch on how they all passed away. Because then it's like. You had to know it was coming. Or do something to be able to pass it on before you die. Unless they did it on their deathbed. Mm. The, and then that's it. And it in the heat of the moment, you can't even say that. Because if you gone, you just gone. So that's what I'm just wondering. How they were able to pass it on before they died. All my situation was different. Because he got injured first. And then, you know, he was like, oh, I can only go three hours a day. Well, then, whatever. That made him kind of decide to go ahead and pass it on when he found the right person. So he was looking because he was weakened. So I'm just wondering what happened to the other folks that they got a chance to, like, do it beforehand. Now, at the right time, that would be a, a good, some good filler episodes. Yeah. At the right time. Because it's like, what makes y'all make this decision? Is it just like a good feeling that you need to pass this shit on? Because, you know, like, they all kind of connected or what? Yeah. Because, obviously, I want to say her name is Nana, the one who was over All Might. He was still, like, she was still young and healthy when she passed it on to him. Because she trained him some. It's just that she died and Grand Serena had to take over. So, that's why I'm just like... It's like, what, what makes y'all know at what point to, like, pass this shit on to the next person? All my situation I get. But it can't be, like, a good feeling because All Might was, like, he never was visited by any other, uh, mm -hmm. you know, like, people or whatever. before. So, I'm just, I'm not, I don't know. Now, I can see, in a way, since One for All and Off One are kind of connected, and then this big old awakening of Sugar Rocky, like, Deku's still starting to, like, get a little more ignorant or whatever. Like, I can see that, but... I don't know. It's just like a lot, bro. <laughs> I just, I just, this is what I'm hoping. This is what I'm hoping. I'm hoping Erie can help uh, Mirio get his quirk back. He pop up. <laughs> and then, she what, probably... what, what fucking uh, All Might is doing is waiting for that inevitable final battle to come in with one final punch. All my, I don't know. I feel like like I'm just saying, like he's waiting. 
Because right now we have not seen him do the whole all might transformation shit that he used to do. He's he's stopped doing that. But what if that's a what if that's what if that's plan to give like just one final punch to and then it's just gone. I don't the only reason I don't I think, mean I, I know he think. can still do it and like we know we saw him fight all for one and that was supposed to be the final moment. I just don't think they're going to do it like that only because now it's like the new generation is like kind of taking over. Yeah, so he's not going to come jump in and fuck up Shigaraki on behalf of Deku. I just don't feel like that's the whole purpose of him passing his power on in the first place. I, I feel like they're going to kill All Might and I feel like that may send Deku over the edge to where he's able to use all them shits. Because oh, he only can use like three. So I, it's something will have to happen to make him be able to activate and use all of them. Because it's like it was slow. But I feel like that moment would push him to be able to use like everything. Because like with the little preview, I don't know if that's like for our benefit or if that's physically happening that it looks like all for one is coming out of his body. Mm -hmm. And it looks like the grandmama is going to come out of Deku's body. So that's why I was like, I don't know, like physically, if they just showing that for our benefit to kind of know what they doing with the fight. Like, you know how they powers talk to each other. So I don't know if that's like a visual thing or if it's physically happening. If it physically is happening, that's weird as fuck. If like they, if they powers, let them do that. But I just feel like if Shigaraki really gets to the point where Deku is like, I can't get to this kid. What can I do? I can't get to this kid. He already tried to go out to Aizawa, which is like, I know that's your teacher, but I had to get rid of him because he using Erasure. But I still feel like with, with all for one still being in Shigaraki's head and all might still being like, you know what I'm saying, like a, a factor or something like that, I feel like they would just kill him just to be spiteful or like push Deku over the edge or whatever. Like I just and it's just like Bakugo this episode, y'all. The growth on this kid. He's still grumpy or whatever. But see this is why characters like that are my favorite. Like Vegeta. You have these characters that come in like they the villain or they don't give a fuck about nobody and blah blah blah. And like you can see how as prickly as he is, he's still grown. Like, the parallels in this episode to, like, Deku jumping in just selflessly, even though he used to bully him or whatever, to, like, save him, like, season one when he got caught by the monster. And it's like, he just said his body just reacted on his own. Like, he just jumped in the way for this kid who he supposedly is fucking annoyed by and he don't like or whatever like that. And he competing with his rival. You know what I'm saying? Like, it just reminds me of, like, a Goku and Vegeta kind of situation. That's why them characters, like, I guess, appeal to me the most because of the growth. I endeavor, because y'all know I couldn't stand that motherfucker. <laughs> y'all was watching them reaction season one and two. Y'all know I hated Endeavor. But I would hate for him to die during this fight before he can, like, make up. Because he's trying to fix it. And Arm that's and the... Burn. Yeah. Did y'all see how that motherfucker looked when he got through burning him? That motherfucker ain't had no hair, nothing. Like, it was like... Why you butt naked? Bro? Like, what the fuck are we doing right now? And he still... I'm, I'm assuming that the move he uses is just kind of like to stab them. I'm hoping it doesn't do anything else. I'm going to have to go back and watch that episode because I want to say he used that in season three when he was fighting again before like All Might got him down, you know, like for the count, period. I'm going to have to see because we've seen that move before. Like, I feel like I've seen him use that shit. I don't know if it's just to stab people or what, though. I'm assuming that's somebody else's quirk that he stole. But um, I don't know. I just... It's so much shit going on. Like, the way they made the last episode seem like Aizawa got shot with the bullet and it made it seem like the light went out of his eyes. Like, you know what I'm saying? They, the cliffhanger of how they animated that until we came back and mm -hmm. you saw him fucking cut his own leg off, bro. Cut, you know how that shit probably had to feel? Like, it. and even still for that one second he was distracted, Shigaraki still got away and still was cutting the fuck up. I'm just like... Then him getting close enough to, like, fuck his face up to where, like, yeah, he not dead, but, you know, like, he can't use his powers right now. It's just, it's too much shit happening. But did you home. see what your boy thought about? Who? He thought about Eerie. If I could cut this off, maybe she could regrow it. We want time. He cut that bitch off and thought oh. about, you didn't see, you didn't I saw it, but I don't think that's where his mind was at, though. Because he's a teacher. He would never depend on a student to do something like that for him. I feel like... Okay, so this, like, y'all remember last week I was saying 
Aries power is like a cheat code or whatever if they learn how to use it. Somebody corrected me on Patreon and was like, if you go back and watch like the the shit with Overhaul, it's like she has to have some kind of build up, I guess, or whatever. That's why she has her horn, like it grows big or not. And we don't know. They never explained in the show what the build up is that she needs to be able to use her power. We don't know if it's emotions. We don't know what she like happy, sad. We don't know what she needs to be able to use it. And then once she uses it, it shrinks. So it's not like a trump card that she could just continuously keep using when she learns to use her power it's like it is a trump card it's just one though basically so i feel like they will use that for mirio because he had too much potential and he's in their like generation for them not to use him again so i just feel like once she uses her powers on mirio i don't think in this show we'd see her use it again so you feel like it's just a one-off I feel like she could do it more than once, but like I just said, I don't. They don't know what makes her be able to build up like that to use it. Mm-hmm. So once she uses it on Mirio, I feel like it'll shrink again, and then you still have to wait a long time before she was able to use it. And that's been like a year since the shit happened. This with. is what I I feel like. Okay, Deku was the prime example of her using her powers continuously. That I feel like that's why it shrunk. Because she was on his back, study using it continuously. She control it. Like, exactly. But the thing is, I feel like she could use it. Boom on this person. Boom on this person. Boom on this. Per- now after time of her using it, she it will shrink and she can't use it. Maybe for whatever time a week. You know I, mean? I get no. I get what you're saying. A week or two, whatever the time limit is of that. But I feel like it has to recharge. Right, and I agree with you to that extent. But it's like, how much power does she have to build up? Because now, it's a year later. So she would have to rewind Mirio over a year to be able to get him his powers back. So that could take a lot of energy. So she may not be able to recharge. It might take her a year to recharge. So that's why I'm just saying, like, I don't feel like they would throw her in there like that. And then, Because even with Shigaraki, I'm over here thinking, like, this motherfucker, like, an endless... You know what I'm saying? How y'all gonna stop him? But now we see him because he woke up early. His body is not healing as fast as it needs to if they just keep coming at him. So that's kind of like his weakness right now. Mm-hmm. Had he got to 100%, they really was gonna have a problem. But now that he's not at 100%, we can see his body is not like he's, doing he's, what it's supposed he's to. He's just Deku all over. The villain right. birds, he's just He's Deku. dealing with Deku, like how Deku had to deal with that shit. But it's like Deku can't use his arms. I'm just like, at one point... Are we gonna have somebody be able to treat them? Are we gonna have downtime to come back? Cause I feel like him and Deku gonna have to keep going back to back for a long time. And if he can't use his arms, like where's the downtime gonna come? That's what I'm just like, I'm trying to figure that part out. He can't keep using his arms. Cause then like, cause Deku is the one that narrates the story, I think. And then like, I'm assuming this is the end. Like once he fights Shigaraki, he ain't gonna have his powers no more. He may not be able to use his arms no more. Now, I don't know if they gonna end the story there or is it gonna fast forward to where he can pass it on to somebody or they gonna stop doing that at this point because he got all these quirk stock power. This is a power, you know what I'm saying, that's real ignorant if somebody got it. So if he actually kills Shigaraki or Shigaraki dies, are they gonna do away with him passing on his powers too so nobody can do this again? Question. How far are we in the manga? Because this seems final. This is like, remember I told you a couple episodes this, back. This, this seems fucking like, okay, like, okay, let's say we get to episode 12 or whatever. Like, let's say we go the rest of the season and all this is still happening. And then next season we come back and we still, I know we're probably going to be still dealing with this for a while, but like, how much of the manga is done? Like, how much remember time? I told you that like when we, a couple of episodes ago, that this was like two something and they're on like three something. So it's like a hundred chapters like ahead. But the manga is coming to an end. So like I feel like after this season you may have like two more at the most. And I feel like that'll be it. Because when you think about that they added like three to five or more plus chapters an episode that ain't like a long way. So that's why I'm like, yes, this feels final. That's why I kept asking where the downtime going to come in because I can't see them just straight throwing blows from here to the end of the show. But obviously Deku lives because he's narrating the story. You know what I'm saying? He's like, I'm telling you the story of how it became. Fi- we don't know that he lived. So he wrote a book and then got body. Hold on. Hold <laughs> on. Like, hold on. Listen. Listen to me. Go that, ahead. That man could be dying right now while he's narrating. But he's flashing still- back, living like, you know how you have a flashback? You know what I'm saying? You see your you see your life before you die. 
That boy could be dying right now narrating But I guarantee shit. you, if, but he sounds older to me narrating. His voice, they sound like they made him a little I older. Get your but voice on? I feel like if he does die while narrating the story, that motherfucker is already dead because who gonna give you downtime to tell a whole fucking story? This this the story of how I became a hero, but the villain's still right here waiting on you to finish. <laughs> like he obviously that's what I'm saying. I'm wondering if they're gonna end it to where nobody can use this like all for one or one for all anymore. Cause if it seems like if it's just gonna build up over all these generations, that this is a cycle that would just repeat itself again at one point. Like all for one is gonna keep living through whoever and try to do this, and one for all would do like the same thing. Now my question is, which is rhetorical, because I have to fucking say that to people because they really be answering the questions. My question to myself is, is one for, no, is all for one the first person to get a quirk? Cause like, why is his shit so powerful? Like, you get what I'm saying? Like, the first mutant. Like, are you the first? Or did some anomaly just happen that gave you the, the ability to be able to do all this shit? Because I just seem like his quirk is the most powerful. And then you made another quirk that was kind of like the most powerful in a way. So I'm just like... Was he the first? Because we already know he's been alive a long time because that man said he gave him his quirk to like, you know, he over like 100 years old. And we don't know. They didn't say exactly like when people started getting quirks. So I'm just wondering if he's like the first. So I, I don't know. I just want to see like if Deku gets to these other users, like two, three, four seems like it's going to be a big one because why would they bring that up? Like it was scratched out what happened to him or whatever like that. So I'm just wondering what ability that one has to like, like did somebody, some villain put him down because he was like too ignorant or what? Like we only seen three quirks right now, which is float, black whip, and then the, I guess the strength of All Might. I don't know like what, I don't never really know what All Might ability is, I guess, because he was already kind of strong anyway before he got it. So like, I don't know, maybe somebody, I don't know. I feel like it's been explained before, but I'm just not remembering what it is with. I don't know. I just, I would like Deku Number to have four. had a quirk. Unlimited regeneration. Tell you what. Some crazy shit. <laughs> I don't know. And in a way, I like, I feel like they still may do that storyline to where like, all for one had like a whole bunch of kids to see like, like how they had the whole Endeavor storyline to like, to see if any of his kids would be able to do this. Like this is why he did it or whatever. And Deku may end up being his kids since they all have teased the little whole business suit man that you know like ain't around or whatever like that but i also feel like i don't want that for him you know what i'm saying he's just so pure i wouldn't want him to be saddled with the fact that this motherfucker your daddy took on top of all this so i don't know look y'all we're gonna get out of here yeah thank y'all for the support for reactions on patreon yeah don't hit me with the I've been a Boku no fan. No, no, you no, left. You left. Ain't watch season four and five. You left. I'm a, I'm gonna be on your fucking head. A you fan left. means you was there, good times and bad times. Good animation and bad animation. Like, see, I'm a Naruto fan, but I'm not a Baruto fan. That's two different. <laughs> that's that's two different things. But even when I hated that fucking filler ass shit, I still went back and watched how it ended. Thank y'all for the support. It's Trey. And it's Sasha. Real. You not already watched, so you might as well subscribe. Please.